What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel man Glad you're here today I'm back with a little bit more of Rainbow Six Siege But today man I thought I'd make a little bit of a more special video Because I kind of want to show you what's going on behind the scenes You know what I'm saying? Like I play a lot of ranked and I post a lot of ranked on YouTube But I kind of want to let y'all know what it is behind the scenes you know And what is behind the scenes? Terrorist Hunt obviously right So I thought today I'm going to show you how I play a Terrorist Hunt right? As like a silver player it's kind of interesting because there's not a lot of players who show how their terrorist hunt goes because it's different for everybody right everybody warms up differently so you know i just finished some terrorist hunts which are kind of representative of what i do normally before i start playing ranked and you know since i'm not mentally capable of playing terrorist hunt and speaking at the same time i tried before um i thought i'm gonna just record my terrorist hunt how i play it and then i'll do a voiceover and kind of explain to y'all what's going on in my head as i'm playing it all right so let's jump right in all right so on a perfect day i always like to warm up with a terrorist hunt right and uh, on more perfect days i like to warm up with more than one round of terrorist hunt so um this normally will be my first round or my only round and this is kind of just like the the first slow approach right obviously i'm going for headshots because the most important thing why i play terrorist hunt is for the crosshair placement right so everything should be nice on head level or nice on crouch level depending on where i aim right so um i start off with a slow terrorist hunt with an acog which is nice to aim for the head and um even though i <laughs> potato a lot of shots there um it's a little bit easier to warm up it's not that frustrating and um in the best case scenario i'm really going for that one tap right like not much of like blah, 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 but just more of like and that's the head um so kind of want to talk about um other things rather than my gameplay so for example why i play it on the normal difficult set uh, difficulty setting rather than on uh, hard is because like one uh my skill is probably not good enough and second is just less frustrating for me you know if i play on hard or realistic you know some people even do like pistol one taps on realistic but for me i'll die pretty fast and then i'm like you know you have to wait uh five minutes to um like let the game reload for you to do the next round and that kind of sucks man. so i get demotivated pretty fast by that and um like it's not like that i care that i lose like i don't and you shouldn't because it doesn't matter it's just a terrorist hunt but it's just that it takes forever for this game to load up one terrorist hunt and go into the next round um, and if you die there's this whole mission failed and 20 seconds later it loads to the second round which takes again 20 seconds i'm like bro man so in normal if i do a mistake no problem you know you lose like i don't know half your health and you just move on and just try to correct your mistake that you just did which caused you to lose half your health rather than be dead and you kind of have to restart you know it's kind of kind of sucks for me um another big thing that i want to talk about is i don't play with music like a lot of people you know just play with music they just kind of vibe and they go around blah, 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 blah. but for me uh, especially as like a newcomer i guess i really want to get used to the sound because sometimes there are sound cues i'm like like where was that you know what was that and i always play a terrorist hunt with a headset no music and um i really try to listen where they're coming from because once you shoot uh everybody in the vicinity will kind of move or shout or do whatever you know so it's nice to 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 get used to um listening and knowing and being comfortable with where this sound is coming from is it around the corner is it um you know like heart right or more into the room is it deeper into the room you know what i'm saying stuff like that so that's why i don't like to play with music um and you'll also see me although i get like majority of headshots like um i want to and um some of them are one taps you see right there some of them are not right so why do i not only one tap why don't i put my gun on uh one tap only it's because um as long as i get the final kill with the headshot it's fine for me you know like i don't want to get used to uh in game having the reflex to only like tap once you know what i'm saying like in game you want to aim for the head yes but you kind of want to like you know like even if you don't hit the head still kill them so like stay on the trigger uh until they're dead 
so that's why i don't want to get used to like this this one tap motion and having that reflex because it's really not game like and for me getting headshots is not about one tap it's about crosshair placement right so having my crosshair right on head level so the only thing i have to do like that is just pull the trigger right head level crouch level and that's like the most important things for me because a lot of times when you when you potato shots like like this one you just you just not on head level you're a bit above so you shoot and you have to correct and then you know you like more off than not die and now you can see here it's only one enemy left but he's kind of buggy somewhere so you know i'm just waiting for him uh, all right so now after having the slow kind of approach you know just uh going through the map and uh, just really focusing on headshots this time i'm focusing on a little bit more speed and movement right so i pick an operator like ash three speed um nice weapon still an acock right still kind of easier to get headshots and i just kind of like run through the map and really focus on um not purposely dying you know like it's not like i'm just running in blind into a room of like four terrorists and i just don't care and then i die because that's like you know doesn't make sense to me so i go fast like definitely as fast as i can while still like you know being reasonably um survivalish you know what i'm saying like i still try to listen where they come from <coughs> excuse me and i still try to get those headshots really important like it's about um your crosshair placement on the fly you know see it like that like if you spray but you're still on head level then um it's fine for me right you you, you still have got a high chance of getting that kill and uh the important thing here is to kind of train that um that moment when you're in game and you're like ooh, that's one you know what i'm saying like you come across the corner and you're like oh that's one right and that and like that you have to shoot him so it's about to be it's about being fast on head level and you know killing with a headshot like stuff like this you know like you have to be it has to be intuitive for you to be on crouch head level to get these kind of shots right and uh, you'll see here i know he's coming in head level and just pull the trigger right stuff like that like that is really important for me to focus on when i do these um slow runs or fast runs or the next one that you see me do the uh, final one that's coming after this one <clears throat> but yeah man uh, i'm gonna just let this play out and um you can kind of like focus on my crosshair placement like how i'm clearing stuff that's actually also one thing i want to talk about so i like <clears throat> practicing clearing rooms in terrorist hunt 2 you know obviously they're only like 20 what 23 terrorists in normal terrorist hunt and i like to focus on also my clearing right so i like to clear uh left to right when i come into a room and only peek around the corner and not like white peak you know what i'm saying and um like i'm far away from perfect yet but uh i like to practice that and even though i know that there's no t's in that room i still like to you know imagine that what if there was one in there and i kind of clear the room real fast and get used to that motion you know what i'm saying so yeah this was a fast one i think i don't know how long i took but uh that was like how a fast terrorist hunt would look for me i guess so this was my second one now i'm gonna jump into the third one and which is like the final one of my perfect warm-up routine if i would do that every time before rank that would be great but i don't but this is what i kind of want to do secretly within okay so um Eliminate now that i've done the eight cocks right one slow one fast i'm gonna do one with a one time scope right because with the eight cocks it's nice because you can see um uh, you have like a zoom in on the head practically right and now i want to play with like um a one time sight you know because not a lot of um not a lot of defenders have an ACOG. see for example there i i cannot even tell which one the terrorist hunt or which one the terrorist is so playing with the one time scope definitely makes you get or makes me get used to actually seeing people right like for example there i didn't see him at all until he until he came and still right still headshot level still cross that placement but now obviously it's a little bit more difficult i'm still trying to go like reasonably fast and clear rooms reasonably fast and um yeah man also 
with the one time scope you can get used to how um, weapons recoil is and stuff like that for example with buck it has a quite high recoil and i'm still getting used to that but you know since i don't one tap i kind of experience the recoil a little bit more so yeah man also still working on clearing rooms and i think here is a one key thing right so i walk in i'm like oh wait a minute i clear the room a little bit too wide you know so i go back and i do it again because it's about practice you know if you catch yourself in terrorist hunt doing something and you're like ah man that was pretty shit then you know just go back and do it again because it's just a terrorist hunt you know what i'm saying so um it's just about practice sometimes i'm like ah oh, man my cross that placement was shit so i go out of the conflict and then i come back in and then with good cross air placement and i re re-enter the conflict right so you can do stuff like this you know like with with flicks it's all about reflex if you have that cross air placement down it's just flicking and then you should be like you should go automatically in onto head level so you know like that and um no 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 Oh yeah, here's one important thing. So you got three enemies remaining, and I've been kind of wanna like practice this 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 quick clicking. You know, as you see, I'm still suck. <laughs> I'm still sucking at it. But um, yeah, man, that's why you go into terrorist hunt. You know, you practice other things. Sometimes the 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 key thing is to not only focus on one thing, right? Because eventually it also gets boring. But sometimes you know I do terrorist hunt, and instead of going for the head, I get like the SMG 11 and only shoot for the body. But then I make, or I try that all the shots go into the body until they're dead, so that I, I don't whiff shots. So it's really about recoil control, right? So yeah, man, don't be, don't be afraid to try out different things in Terrorist Hunt, man. That's what it's there for us to practice, man. To practice recoil, for example, if you want to go buck and twitch only and try to practice their recoil if you want to go glass only sometimes i do that and i really try to because with glass you can see people like instantly because they're yellow so you can really flick easily so you can practice your flicks with glass stuff like that or um if you want to go pistol only man you have to also have to practice your side arms also very important but yeah the, the thing is that that you don't you cannot expect to get instantly better at the game as a whole with terrorist hunt you know because terrorist hunt is really only about like the the mechanical skill right it's about um like i guess just just cross air placement right key thing for me it's about uh that you get used to flicks uh map knowledge also because you move around with the map a lot um recoil obviously and um yeah stuff like that you know just really mechanical and like game sense and stuff like that you really have to just experience while playing the game right so it's it's a whole different story to play 5v5 than just you against 20 terrorists right but for me the placement is so important and that's why i like to warm up with these because then i feel like you know my muscle memory is like refreshing you know what i'm saying and then when i jump into the game it kind of feels nice and um i can definitely see the crosshair placement translate to in-game yeah man that's been it for me i hope you enjoyed it man kind of like a, a backstage inside view of what's going on in my off rank time you know when i play terrorist hunt and i hope maybe some guy some of you guys learned some out of it man and um other than that you got like a nice insight into what it's like for other people to play terrorist hunt but yeah bro let me know in the comments if you find it sensible what i do or if you think what i do is complete garbage and it makes no sense <laughs> and yeah man hey because feedback is the best thing you can do right and if you like the video bro then leave a like on the video obviously and if you want to see more man if you want to stay tuned to the rest of the get good at rainbow six siege video series if you want to follow me on the path to getting to gold which i hope won't be far along from now then subscribe to the channel bro hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next video is up which should be around every three ish days i try to do that and yeah bro until the next one i see you guys take care cheers